grinding from the bottom to get to the top. You know what time it is. Love this music shit. At first, I got into it for the love. You know, my brother used to rap, and he, I had found one of his notebooks, so I started like just reciting his rhymes, going through his rhymes, and then I was like, oh man, I can do this. Then I just started writing music. I actually started doing music on the block. You know, when I was out hustling and shit, trying to make some money, music never left me. Like, that was always my first love, so I'd be out there with the pad writing. Then, you know, I was trying to do it for love at first, but then I started realizing you get money. So, I jumped in it to try to make me some money, try to take care of my family, get this money up. I'm in love with I'm married to the streets. Baby, it's our anniversary. Been loyal to the streets. Ever since the game proposed to me, it's time we have a toast. Raise our glasses to the loyalty that comes before the royalty. That's how this shit's supposed to be. No busters. Had a little radio. And I was playing the beats and I was rapping and this dude walked out, construction worker. He was like, yo man, that's hot, who's that, that's you? I'm like, yeah. He's like, yo, my man, my man Jay, my man Jay, he's looking for new talent. So I'm like, oh, word, Jay, all right, cool. Long story short, it was Jam Master Jay's man, you know what I'm saying? The dude from the MC Afros, my man T-Ski. So he, had, he ended up introducing me to Jam Master Jay. So it was like, that was like a big point in my life. And then, you know, like right after that, Jam Master Jay got killed. I remember one time, my man Billy Bang, rest in peace, you know what I'm saying? He had took me down south one time with him to meet Jay-Z. I was supposed to meet Jay-Z, Ritz Carlton Hotel. Never got a chance to meet Jay-Z. I seen him, but I never got a chance to actually meet him, let him know what I was about. You know, that was another downfall, but that didn't stop me. And long story short, I found out that one of my managers, because we had two managers at the time, one of them, they had turned down a deal that we, we were supposed to get a deal back then. And they turned it down without even telling us about it. So when I found that out, I was like, man, this is, like, this is, music shit's a waste of time, man. I might as well hit the streets, man, just get this money now while I can. I got the hammers on deck, case these niggas want peace. No, Run up no. on Kane, you gon' need the police. Facts. Since you don't want peace, I've been riding with the peace. I came up in the street, the hood turned me to a beast. I can get you by myself, but we rollin' 20 deep. We all black and Spanish and we all hold heat. Where I'm from is no fair one, so fuck who you be. I'ma make sure they jump you the way they jump me. I'm a monster. Streets ain't for everybody, man. It's not, it's not an easy game either, man. It's, it's just like life, man. I learned, I learned in life, what you put in is what you get out. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I was running around with guns, getting into shootouts, you know, playing razor tag with, with, with razor blades and shit like that. Like me, I'm the black sheep of my family. Like I'm, I'm probably the only person out of my mother's kids that's actually street, that's in the streets. I'm from the hearse. You know, I, I grew up in the hearse. I moved out to the hearse when I was about 12 or 13 years old. So. I was fighting this shit a lot out here, man. That's how I got my name, K.O. He's out there doing everything you could think about, man. Anything to get that money. I was trying to teach this nigga how to be a goon, and um, you know, we had caught a robbery. We robbed a dude, threw him in the trunk, whatever but forgot to take the dude's cell phone from the dude. So, you know, the dude was calling the police, so they was tracking the car. So the funny thing is, I got all the way a block away from my crib, parked the car, got out the car, walked like about three more blocks, and then the boys jumped out on me. Guns, blaze, everything, crazy, ready for me, like. And they been was looking for me, because I, you know, I was out here doing a lot of stupid shit, you know what I'm saying? So they was looking for me, ready for an assault charge. So once they caught me, it was like, yeah, we got your stupid ass. I went up north for five years, man, five to 10 years. Came home in five years, decided to change it up. That one up north trip, that shit really woke me up, man. That shit had me thinking a lot, man. Five years away, no family, no friends, nothing. Couldn't get no sex, nothing. Writing every day, I came home with like over a thousand rhymes. Maybe more, like I came home with so many, like, and, you know, I caught, caught me a scar, you know what I'm saying? Almost lost my life. I mean, I got a few scars, I got over, over 100 scars on my body, you know what I'm saying? I had beef with a kid, and it was an old beef. It was like 10 years prior to me getting cut that we had, you know? When he realized who I was, and I'm talking to my other man, I was talking to my man, he had cut me from behind, trying to, you know, trying to do what he had to do. The doctor said that the reason why I got cut like that is because I turned into the cut. Like, I turned into the cut to fight. 
Now it's like a part of my life to me, you know? Time waits for no man, move or get left My dudes on the corner moving tubes of the meth We all about that action, bitch, we'll shoot you to death This ain't no cell phone, but I'm using the text My nigga sees one, said KO, you the one I feel like Jet Li's Chinese, Black Sun Cause I'm nice with the hands, just in case you want some We gon' fight all day, but I'm a box with My brother was a big inspiration, man He was in the military and when he came back from the military, he was kind of different. You know what I mean? A lot of people was noticing differences in him. And I come to find out that he was smoking angel dust. Like he was a functioning addict. And and the angel dust kind of like just took him on a spin. And then one day he had came in and asked me what I wanted from the store. So I gave him a quarter. So I'm to bring back onion and garlic potato chips. And he never came back. My mom's told me, she's like, yeah, listen, he's not coming back. So you might as well just... You know, we just gotta keep going with our life. I mean, it was kind of a hard decision to make, but you know, we had to keep going. What could we do? So I would say, I, in my my opinion, I think like back back in those days, and with the angel dust and all of that, I could say like either he got missing or somebody got him missing. Right now, like I'm trying to just get with a team, some place where I, you know I could feel good, like 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 what I'm doing is worth it. You know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, that's all I wanted. You know, I don't want I don't want the stress. I know I'm not gonna make all the money I'm supposed to make. I know, you know, you get jerked around here and there, but if I'm making money, I'm not mad. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I get jerked for two mil and I'm actually making a mil, I didn't have a million dollars yesterday, so I'm not mad about that. You know what I mean? It's just don't, 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 don't play me. Like, don't blatantly play me. Like, if you're gonna give me a contract and say, yo, everything I want to do is in a contract, that's on me now. You know what I'm saying? It's up to me to get my lawyer to read that and to take care of that contract the right way. Now, if I see something in that contract. And I know it's some Fugazi shit, and I still signed that contract. The man that gave me that contract is not at fault. It's me, because I could easily change that. Okay, no eight. Thirty zips in a rubber band. In the cut like Freighter. Hammer claws, I'm the hammer man. Young nigga, I don't give a damn. Nigga worse than the son of Sam. Heavy hitter, I'm a money getter. That's your bitch, better cup a fan. That's your dog, better get your man. J. Kane, let her pop, niggas. That's your work, better get your grants. Best who kills, let her rob, niggas. Acting like you got a. Bartenders is on. We basically do tricks, you know what I'm saying? We doing tricks, and besides the tricks, it's more helping the communities. Like, every Saturday we train people for free in Harlem, you know what I mean, for free. And um, go around to different schools, you know, doing shows for the kids, trying to trying to change their mind, trying to put them on the pull-up bar instead of behind the bars, you know what I'm saying? In the beginning, I was actually in it to change my life around. And the, the real reason why I really, really, really got into bartenders with, with the bartenders is because Styles P. Styles P is one of my favorite rappers at in, in hip hop period. He's one of my favorites, and um, and I seen he was down with the bartender, so I was like, oh shit, it's a way for me to meet Styles and get down with D Block. My brother introduced me to the music, but the whole trip, nobody gave me a handout. Nobody helped me. Nobody wanted to to, to give me a shot. You put me on, I'm out the street life. I leave the street life. I'm here. This music is my first passion. Next two years, I see myself, you know. Living good, man. Established. I'm grinding for it. So, you know, like, God willing, it'll all come, you know. I, I definitely want the nice mansion because I really want a big, I, I mean, it doesn't have to be a mansion, but as long as it's a nice big house with, um, you know, I got my music studio in it, my video studio in there, I could get to, I get busy every day. And I'll be able to open the doors for a lot of my dudes that are lost, that are still in the, in the, in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Like, that got talents, and they, they need that shot, so. You know, once I get in, you know, I could pull a lot of people. The hood is waiting for me, man. They waiting for me. So it's like, I ain't gonna keep them waiting too, too much long. That's why I'm on a grind now, you know what I'm saying? So You only got one life, man. You gotta live it. You gotta do it the right way. I ain't gonna stop music. Regardless of what happens, I'll never stop music. I'll be 100 years old, I'm still gonna be doing music. Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy, K.O. Kane, a.k.a. KK47, man. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at K.O. Kane, K-A-Y-O-K-A-N-E, or Facebook at K.O. Kane. And, um, you know, if you want, send me an email, kokanejr at gmail.com. I'm always available to work, you heard?